I'm not trying to be in pain. He could, he could be in pain. That's yeah, if you want to be in pain, do it before you go home so you can suffer with nobody watching. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Whoop. He's just getting his big plump thick pickle. Yeah. Show the bubbles. Hello. Hey, streamers. This Hello. is Peter, he's a wizard. I'm a wizard. I'm Nate, I'm just here for the turkey This is Nate. Lights. Nate's... <laughs> Nate doesn't dress up for events, so he just puts on lazy shirts. Yeah, yeah. He's just here for the turkey He lights. has a Gryffindor uh, tie, though. So yeah, yeah, it's cool. right here. It's right here. I also have a Harry Potter hat. Ooh! It's a little wizard thing. And then I'm TJ Rare, but I'm also Harry Potter, so... You heard it here first. Glasses, jacket, shirt. Looking good. Looking ready. Nothing, nothing in his way. Hello, how are you? Quite well. My uh, wildly inappropriate poetry show will be at the ball and chain stage. About how inappropriate? Well, I deliver what I promise, but I do it in style. <laughs> nice. I mean, I've written such poems as I built my love a menstrual hut, <laughs> clap for my sister, which is a sweeping ode to chlamydia, and the prepubescent lament, Mother, will my stones drop? I've got a new one titled His Interior Thoughts while she shows him yet more pictures of her goddamned cat. <laughs> I think you'll love this show. It's really funny. And all the times on the back, Perfect. the 1130 show is a really short one. Okay. So if you miss any, miss that one. <laughs> but, uh, we'll be there for one o'clock then. We're yeah, gonna be the there for one o'clock. There's no fucking juggling. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good. That's what I wanted. Yeah. Do you want to sing about taking care of us? Hell oh, yes. Yeah. So fair. I am tender. Young may have been courted by many of all sorts and trades. If ever was any, a spruce have a dasher for stone of me fair. But I would have nothing to do with small wear. My thing is my home, and I'll keep it so still. Yet other young lasses may do what they will. My thing is my home, and I'll keep it so still. Yet other young lasses may do what they will. Find out where Taylor with a yard in his hand did offer his services at my command. He spoke of a slit I had over my knee, but I'll have no tailor to mend it for me. My thing is my own, and I'll keep it so still. Yet other young lasses may do what they will. My thing is my own, and I'll keep it so still. Yet other young lasses may do what they will. A cunning poor jester who's lanky and tall. I'd like to juggle his balls, though many a lass has fallen for his stick. I prefer rabbits with my magic trick. My thing is my own, and I'll keep it so still. Yet other young lasses may do what they will. My thing is my own, and I'll keep it so still. Yet other young lasses may do what they will. The village bread maker thought it'd be fun to try and grab hold of my sweet. He got a good grip, so he got in a row, and now when he bakes, there's no nuts in his dough. My thing is my own, and I'll keep you tight and still. Let all the young lasses may do what they do. I'm allergic. My thing is my own, and I'll keep it so still. Let all the young lasses may do what they do. That's an occupational hazard. Now, here I would reckon a hundred or more, besides all the laggards recited before.
You want your phone? Oh yeah, no, Nate's got it. <laughs> Why are we pretending? This is awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah. Got it. All right, now I'll actually cut it off. It's perfect. Love the sausage. My God. I don't know what if, you don't see. If you've not seen this show before, I, I want you all to know that there are certain things I will not require of my audience, things that you may be tiring of. For example, at no point in this show will I ever tell you to applaud me. If you feel like applauding, <laughs> knock me, yourselves out, but I will not no, legislate your approval. Also, at no point in this show will I remove my doublet and expect you all to go woo. <laughs> <laughs> I will not drag a man onto this stage and force him to wear coconut tits and a mop head. I will not attempt to sell you a sausage by saying, come slide the king's hot greasy meat in your mouth. And I will be damned if I ever use the line, look what you can do with a liberal arts education. What I will endeavor to give you, my friends, is poetry. Or to bastardize the words of another poet, I shall give you imaginary sewers with real rats in them. My name is Arthur Greenleaf Holmes, and yes, I am a poet, but I'm no ordinary feel-good milk toast of a poet, and what you're about to see is not the poetry of silk doilies or lady fingers or chamber music, not at all. This is the poetry of the gutters and the alleyways. This is the poetry of syphilis and hermaphrodites. It is the poetry of going in dry and coming out ashamed. Of the surreptitious fart turned unseasonably liquid. This is poetry that uses the term raw dog as a verb. Now why am I telling you this? Why am I cautioning you about the content of this show? Why, indeed. Now, how old is this little guy? Four. <laughs> well, that's an awfully optimistic age, isn't it? Now, are, the, are, is, are you the mother? Oh, is the... Mommy's getting a beer. Is that what's happening? <laughs> yes, kid, laugh it up. Because I am precisely what your mother deserves. I'll give you a dollar. This is what we call hush money. Oh yes, thank God. you for applauding that child's impending delinquency. <laughs> Look, I'm warning you about this show because at some point you may very well decide that it's not to your liking and you would like to leave. Or maybe you are overcome by a curious feeling best described as parental responsibility. <laughs> But I want you to know that everyone is welcome to leave this show if that's what they feel like doing, because we will never mock you for leaving this show. On the contrary, my friends, we will honor you for leaving this show. We will applaud you no less enthusiastically than do the subliterate bastards who wallow in this crap. Because by leaving my show, you have shown better judgment than the rest of us. But really more to the point, by leaving this show, you've restored some measure of dignity to this godforsaken space. Are we all in agreement? Aye. Good. Well then, without, without any further ado, my good friends, who would like to hear something wildly inappropriate? <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Here then is the first poem that I ever wrote. This poem is titled, Mother... Will my stones drop? And here comes mummy. <laughs> and daddy. <laughs> mummy and daddy are drunk and making it. poor choices in public again. <laughs> Again, this poem is titled, Mother Will My Stones Drop, which may be thematically consistent with where the four-year-old is in his life right now. <laughs> and I shall be reciting this poem in the original pre-pubescent voice. <laughs> Mother, will my stones drop? Ere I turn 29, I tire of this empty sack against my hairless thigh. And when will I awaken to find my mattress wet? It's happened to the other boys, but I've not known it yet. 
<laughs> you know, <laughs> I just want to say that everyone is welcome to stay at this show. It's really how I got my own start. When I was seven years old, I would tell my parents I was going off to vacation Bible camp. But instead, I would wander down Old Pie Street, which is in the very seedy district of London. And I would pause to peer through a small hole in the side of a brothel. A place called the Organ Grinder. <laughs> Son, you're welcome to stay at the show, but what I want you to do is write these poems down. <laughs> and when mother and father have their Christmas party, I want you just to bust them out. <laughs> Shall I continue? Yeah. And will my wanker bolden <laughs> and shed its pinkish skin? And will it grow a hairy nest to spend its evenings in? <laughs> and mother, what's a clitoris? Son, that is spelled C L I T O R I S. Clitoris. Yes, clitoris. You should be familiar with that. You passed one about four years ago. <laughs> Baby's first pinata. <laughs> and mother, what's a clitoris? And is it hard to find? My cousin said she'd show me hers if I would show her mine. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, is there an amber in the audience? Are you an amber? All right, let's do that. Let's, let's do, that. do me a favor. Come on up here. I mean you no harm, and I want you to trust me, because I, I don't do the theater of humiliation. That's not what I do. Uh, I want to try a little experiment uh, about poetry. I want you to turn your back to this audience, and you can either open your eyes and focus on a, a spot on the wall, or you can close your eyes, but I won't touch you or anything like that. Uh, and I want you to imagine that what you're looking at right there is your future. All right? Well, why don't you close your eyes for this? That is your future. And what I want you to do is tell me what you see in your future. Yes, honestly. Do you, how do you see yourself in your future? Do you see only good things? Happy. You see abiding happiness in your future. Good. Um, now, before you do this, don't, don't turn around yet, but I want you to turn around and face the audience, and that will be your present. All right? So turn around and face your present.